Hello everyone welcome to the DAF Carvel 1 tutorial video. In this video, I will give you a detailed tutorial to the commonly used software, Lightburn, which is compatible with DAF Carvel 1. I will cover three aspects, an overview of Lightburn, three steps for downloading, installing, and activating it, and how to input device parameters into Lightburn. Lightburn is a professional software for laser cutting, engraving, and graphic design. In Lightburn software, you can establish a connection with Davcarvel 1 and are also able to create or import processing files and images directly into Lightburn. Lightburn supports various image formats, such as BMP, JPEG, PNG, GIF, and Vector, file formats such as AI, PDF, and DXF. First, go to the Lightburn official website, click Download Trial, and scroll down to Past Release S. Choose the version that suits your computer and remember the installation directory. Locate the Lightburn software installation package. Double click. Choose the installation location. And click next to proceed. Set the name for the start menu folder. Then click next will keep it default for this tutorial. Check create a desktop icon and click next. Click install to initiate the installation. By default, Launch Lightburn is selected and click Finish to complete the installation successfully. After installation, the software will open automatically and an activation window will pop up. If not, double click the shortcut to open the software. Note, activation should be done while the computer is connected to the internet. If you're in a connected state and temporarily don't want to activate, you have a 30-day trial period available. You can simply close the interface, import device parameters as explained in the following steps, and start using. My computer is already activated. Here, I'll use images to demonstrate how to activate after installation. Copy the purchase license key and paste it under license key in the activation window. Click Activate License to activate Lightburn software. Click OK to finish the activation. When Lightburn is activated for the first time, a window for importing device parameters will appear. Click Import. If the window doesn't appear, you can click Devices in the bottom right corner to proceed. Locate the folder where you place device parameters. Find the DAVCARV L1 profile the file. And then click Open. You can see the imported device parameters in the device list. Click OK. In this case, we need to connect the computer with a DAVCARV L1 laser cutter, select it. The device parameters have been successfully imported, and now you can use Lightburn to control our device. Here's a handy tip, in the top left menu bar, find language, then select your desired language. It would be easier and more convenient for operation. This video ends here, hopes it help you. See you next time.